March 18. The day the first person, Alexei Leonov, walked in space. The day Mike Tyson beat Razor Ruddock in the fight of the year. The day Michael Jordan came out of his 17 month retirement. But most importantly, the day I made a deal with you. I'll make a deal with you guys. If this video gets 40,000 likes, I'll sign up for the most expensive dating app there is. Today is July the 1st, and the video hasn't got 40,000 likes, no, it's got 140,000 likes. I can't even be mad at that. The George Mason Nation is taking over 140,000 likes, and zero comments because YouTube have just disabled my comments for the last four months. But it doesn't matter because the George Mason Nation doesn't need comments. And as your leader and the biggest catfish of 2019, I have to hold up my offer. And today I'll be joining the most expensive dating app in the world for a whole week. We've all tried Tinder for free, some of us have even tried toffee but today we are going to extreme the world's most expensive dating app but to be honest with you i didn't know where the world's most expensive dating app was so we had to find out so i did some research online i searched and searched through for the most expensive dating app until we found the one elite single 62 pound a month oh my gosh and you can have to sign up for three months as well oh whoa 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 the league three months is 66 dollars a month $66 a month. That's pretty much $200. You've got to be earning a lot of money to be wasting that on dating apps. So, what was I going to do? Waste that much money on dating apps. I decided I was going to buy the top two most expensive dating apps, The League and Elite Singles. So, I went over to the app store to download the app. And when I went to download Elite Singles, I saw this. Elite Singles. Dating for 30 plus. You've got to be 30 to, to be accepted then. Yeah, for Elite Singles, it's people 30 plus. You know what? Let's make another deal. If we can get 50,000 likes in this video, I'll do a video where I say being older, I've gone to a 30 plus dating app. But anyway, onto the league we go. I'm single, let's do this. Find me love. So I went onto the league and set up my profile. And I then worked out a way how to not pay the $66 monthly fee. And the way you do that is link your LinkedIn to your profile. I don't have a LinkedIn. So if you don't have a LinkedIn, you have to pay £66 a month and become a member. I guess I'm going to have to make a LinkedIn. So that's exactly what I did. I went onto LinkedIn, set up an account. Most recent job title. I'm going to say I'm an electrical engineer most recent company let's go google continue all right was it that easy i'm now a google engineer i linked the account and i was officially now a verified google engineer so everything was going great until this happened okay guys we might have a problem so i was just adding my photos to my previous videos wrote a little bio and then went on to the next step and now i'm on the waiting list you're on the wait list for league you're 40,000th of 43,000 in london we maintain a balanced highly engaged and diverse community. Their waiting list is 40,000 people long. So yeah, there was me thinking I finessed the system. Got onto a $66 a month app for free. It turns out I didn't. I'm gonna have to pay. I mean, you know what? Should I wait? So I decided to give it 24 hours to see how far ahead in the queue we moved. And 24 hours later we'd move forward 64 places out of 40,000. So waiting was gonna take way too long. So I decided to pay and become a member. But here's the thing. I thought if you become a member, you don't have to get verified. You just get straight through. However, you still have to wait to get verified. And it says it takes within 24 hours. I don't think my profile right now is going to get accepted. I mean, I've just got one photo of me and uh, a bio that says, I'm a legend and my profession is engineer at Google. I need to show that I'm part of the higher tier life. I'm not just a normal guy. I'm an engineer at Google. So that's what I did. I dressed up in the most engineer outfit I had. And I was now looking like the verified Google engineer that I am. There was only one place we could go now. I ran to the train station. Got on the train. I went all the way to King's Cross. Went outside and found it. The Google headquarters. So I went inside to get a photo and this happened. Hi. Can we, is there, can we look around or is it? Uh, no. No? Google City in London. Okay. So, no? Okay. Rejected. Could he not tell? I'm a Google engineer. This was a massive L. I came all the way to the Google offices to get a photo for my dating profile and they wouldn't even let me in. How am I supposed to get onto the league now? There was only one way. This week's video sponsor, Naked Smoothie. Naked Smoothies are all about turning small struggles into big wins. And they have challenged me as the biggest catfish of 2019 to strip away insecurity and celebrate the real you, the naked you, the powerful you. So I took 
a big goal for this movie. And instantly, I felt like a new man. I felt inspired. The Google security guy wasn't going to get me down. I felt refreshed. I thought to myself, where would a Google engineer like to spend his time? What's one of the more finer things in life? Art. So I headed to the Tate Modern Art Gallery. Usually in an art gallery, I would feel out of place. I don't know anything about art. I'm a YouTuber. But with Naked, I stripped away my insecurity. Powerful smoothie, powerful you. I was making the most of this situation. I was looking at the art. I was enjoying the art. All thanks to Naked Smoothies. I then found a piece of art and got my photo taken next to it. And I was feeling so good, I even decided to leave my mark on the gallery. By writing my name on the wall. We had a photo for our profile, all thanks to Naked. So I then left the gallery and headed back home. I added a new photo to our profile. But there was still something missing. The app explained the more photos you have, the more likely you're going to get accepted. And we're paying $200 here. I don't want to get rejected. So since they didn't let us in at Google, we were going to fake it. So I went onto my computer, got the Google logo, printed it off onto some special printing paper, went to the shop, bought a t-shirt, cut the logo out, put it onto the t-shirt, ironed it on, and we now had a Google t-shirt. So I did a quick photo shoot in my room, and I then photoshopped it to make it look like I was in a Google office. The photo was done, and I added it onto my profile. I wrote my bio, which looked like this. Engineer at Google, I'm far from your average guy. My friends say that I'm funny, smart, rich. So what more could you want? I wanted to put more, but there's like a limit on how much you can have, and that's the limit. So we're going to go for that for now, just to try and get into the app, to try and get accepted. We're going to become a member. There's no one month option. You have to go straight in for three, and it's going to cost me $200. $200 <laughs> for a dating app. So I did it. I made the purchase. $199, and the purchase was successful. What have I just done? I've just wasted £198. So now the waiting list should take less than 24 hours. So I'm going to wait now, and fingers crossed, we get accepted. Guys, update. It hasn't even been an hour. I've just checked my emails. You've been drafted into the league. You're in. No more wait list. Welcome to the league community. We've reviewed your profile and think you have what it takes to be an all-star. Oh my gosh, guys. We have done it once again. Okay, we're going to go on the app now for the first time. Let's see what it's like. I, I, I imagine it's like Tinder where you just swipe, but I literally have no idea. Okay, loading potential soulmate. Each day at Happy Hour, we'll send you a new batch of prospects to scout. That is the weirdest way of putting it. Okay, so it's kind of like, I don't get it. I'm just liking everyone. I don't know how many likes. I think I don't know if I get unlimited likes a day. I really have no idea. I mean, for £66 a month, I would hope I do. Have I swiped everyone? One, two, three, four, five, six. I've been shown six people. Wait, that's literally it. I just closed the app and reopened it to see if I got more people. It says, that's game. Check back at 5 p.m. for your next batch. It's, it's two minutes past five. Wait, see more profiles now. You have to pay more. Are you serious? I've, I've, have I not paid enough? $200. I paid $200 for this. And I've got to pay £10 if I want to see more people. You literally only get to see six people. I actually don't understand. Right, okay, it's me from the future. So at this point, as you can tell, I was so confused. So here's a quick summary. So every day at 5pm, it's happy hour. And the app shows you five to six people that it thinks you're suited to. So since I'm a Google engineer, they'll try and match me with other engineers. Or people in that sort of field. Or people with similar interests. Oh, and also every day you get the option to join one to two groups. And here's my first experience with joining a group. Okay, so I just joined a group. You've now joined this group. Chat with others in this group in messages. Okay. I would take Magic the Gathering Girl over Tiffany from the hair salon. I don't think bro dudes and gals will do as well on this app. It's geared towards successful smart people. Oh, well that's me screwed. Damn. There's Tinder for the perma boys and gals out there. So they're literally just talking about how much they hate normal people. Tiffany and her hundreds of Insta clones doing yoga, drinking wine and kombucha. Oh, kombucha. And starting up a how to make up tutorial on YouTube. Yeah, who would make YouTube videos? Uh, that's so lame. Definitely not all girls. It is indeed a broad generalization. As I'm sure it's the same with the bros out there. It becomes a chore to discern a real personality in the muck of the hive mind of pop and social culture. I'm probably just as guilty of this, though in some regards, I enjoy crying craft beer, hiking, and yoga. I drive a Subaru, and most of my wardrobe is from Colombia or Prada. What are you talking about? Oh, no need to flex, bro. 
I then decided to look around the app a little bit more and I found this thing called the League Live. And it says, if selected for League Live, we'll set you up on three short video days, each lasting two minutes. Get in line now for a chance to be selected. Do I do it? Imagine, imagine. So for the next week, every day at 5 p.m., I went onto the app and liked everyone they showed me. On the first day, we matched with three out of six people. On the second, we matched with six out of six people. Every like was a match. On the Wednesday, we matched with five out of six people. And on Thursday, I got this notification. You won't believe this. It's National Catfish Day, a day to honor the OG catfish whose reputation has been tarnished by dating apps worldwide. It's like they know I'm here. How did I not know it was National Catfish Day? I'd like to wish you a happy National Catfish Day from the biggest catfish of 2019. I hope you enjoy yourself. But yeah, on National Catfish Day, we matched with five out of six people. On the Friday, we, we only matched with one person. And on the Saturday, we matched with zero people. And finally, Sunday, we matched with three out of five. And speaking of the last day, Sunday, that was when the League Live speed dating was happening. And I got this notification through on my phone. I got a notification on my phone saying I've been selected for the live dating thing. I was not prepared for this. We've literally got two minutes. I don't know if I'm actually selected because when I go on it, it says I'm 5,000th in the queue. Surely there's not that many people doing it. We've literally got one minute. I put my Google t-shirt on. I've got the Google t-shirt on. I need my glasses. Am I going to be selected? I don't know. Do I want to be selected? I don't know. Congrats, you've been selected. We've actually been selected. We have been selected for the live speed dating. Now, enjoy my literal freak out about having to interact with a real person. And no, this isn't me overreacting. I'm just really socially awkward. I'm scared to do this. I don't know if I can pull this off. Aha! I don't know if I can do this. I actually don't know if I can do this. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. What am I doing? Oh my gosh, it's actually gonna... What's going on? I don't want to do this. Oh no, oh no. All right, what do I do? Right, let me just get my, I work at Google. I'm an engineer. Uh, what do I like? What do I like? I like R. Right, let's just do it. Push the start. Oh no, it's actually starting. I don't want to do this. Complete the sentence. I wish I had someone with a... Who... Oh, hi. Oh, she skipped me. What? She wasn't even showing her face. This is so awkward. Uh. So I did try to screen record this, but for some reason it didn't save. But the person we got matched with literally just had their camera covered and then they skipped me. So we went again. I don't know why I put myself through this. Oh, we got one, we got one, we got one. Okay, here we go. If you could wake up tomorrow having gained one... Hi, how are you? Very well, we need to get out. Yes. Oh, wait, did we meet before? Very much yesterday, and I was just running out like a crazy human, so never, never got back. All oh, right, fair enough. Um, this is awkward. I don't know what to do. I'm the I. Oh, the cringe, the cringe. Under pressure, I just get awkward. I don't know what to say. I'm not going to show you the full conversation because literally, it's just awkward. But this is how it ended. It was really nice. To you. Okay, so you too. Bye. Bye. That was so intense. I never want to do that again. That was so awkward. Guys, it gets worse. It gets worse. So you know in that video chat she said I messaged her yesterday? I, I went to check it to see what I said. Um, bear in mind, she never replied to the message. I said, let me drive... <laughs> Let me drive the boat. Let me drive the boat. Because <laughs> she, she was on a boat in her photo. So, so, you know, I said, let me drive the boat. But if it wasn't awkward enough, that made it a bit more awkward. Let me drive the boat. Let me drive the boat. And now on to the messages. So let's start off with the group. Remember the one that hates normal people? So the last thing I said was, oh, no need to flex, bro, to the guy that was talking about his Subaru. And he replied, I won't call it flexing if it's the most stereotypical PNW traits out there. To me, it's the same as saying, I wear shoes outside my house. I eat popcorn with my movie. Cool, but so does everyone else. I mean, there's a bit of a difference between wearing shoes and driving a Subaru. And then this person came in and said, is that your art at me? Yeah, did it myself. Do you like it? I love it. My sister also paid. So as you can see, there was some real flirting going on here. We had a connection. This was a map. Maybe the $66 a month was worth it. I bet my future wife. But no, Mr. Brian comes in and says, that's not his painting. Brian. What are you doing? Come on, Brian. Don't hate the player. Not hating. Haha. <laughs> and then the original girl replied, then guys wonder why most girls have trust issues. I'm the reason girls have trust issues. <laughs> Biggest catfish of 2019. So I was trying to fix our connection here. So I said, I was just trying to impress you, but I work at Google, so that should do the job. <laughs> and then the original guy that I said was flexing came back and said, talk about flexing. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to save my marriage here. So after that catastrophe in groups, I decided they weren't the way to go. So I then to message some matches. We matched with Jen. I think I recently watched your video about Toffee. 
Ah. I tried to play it cool, but she knew. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm an engineer at Google. Sure, if you call YouTubers engineers, and then she sent a screenshot of my video. I spoke to her a little bit, and she told me she waited two whole years. Two years on the waiting list just to get accepted. Literally two years. I matched with Durfall. One of his photos was him on the news. So I messaged him saying, you were on the news? Damn, son, you got clout. Ha ha, my awesome knowledge of all things is just too much to resist. You are might awesome, Durfall. If that is your real name. That is my real name, of course. Is your real name George? Nah, it's not. Joking, it is. I'm not a catfish. Are you? Sure. I am very trusting. How can I trust you that you're trusting? When you say you're trusting, could be you manipulating me into believing that you're trusting. When you're not actually trusting, but a compulsive, lying sociopath that takes advantage of people who work at Google for their money and ruin their self-confidence and give them trust issues. Yes. Just... Yes. Either that was a joke, which I like, or I'm not sure what it is. Sorry, I've had some bad experiences on the league. Really? I've not had any. Most guys don't respond to me. But I feel bad for Durfle now. You should get a job at Google. It works wonders. It's a big flex. I'm not sure I have the skills for Google, but it sounds like a great place. You're a great place. I am. Did you mean to say that? Yes, of course. Did you? Okay. Okay. I'm really confused by you, George. I don't understand your messages. You are confusion. Yes, I suppose it's my I feel bad. The fault is all mine. Yes. No. Next we matched with Kaj and his job was something to do with investment. So I messaged him saying, invest in Google. And he replied, hee hee. <laughs> Hee <laughs> hee. So I replied, what are you? Michael Jackson? <laughs> Just say, ha ha, not hee hee. So finally, I matched with Aronan, and I messaged him saying, hey man, how's your week been? Hey George, pretty good week. How's yours been? Mine's been good. I run a 20 mile marathon on the weekend. <laughs> Cause his name's Aronan, and I said, I, Ron, and God. G or G on a roll. I don't get it. What's G or G on? You're on a roll. George on a roll. A roll. Yeah, but that's just my name with on at the end. Mine was funny because it was your name. That's just not how it worked. I think we could bucket for ages. I'll show you a bucket. So I thought the conversation was dying out a bit. So I just thought I'd let him know. I run and I don't know if you noticed, but I work at Google. I noticed. Well, are you not going to compliment it? So you told me how great you are. Are you planning on putting this into action and going on a day? You haven't really sold yourself to me, to be honest. What are you bringing to the table? I work at Google, just in case you didn't realise already. George, I don't need to sell myself. What someone brings to the table changes throughout life. You working at Google doesn't bring something to the table. It's not particularly impressive to me. No offence, but also offence. For me, it's more about what you're bringing to the table on a more human level. How capable you are at dealing with emotion and being able to communicate with another person. All the other stuff is superficial to me. I have all the superficial things, but when I'm looking for someone to love, those things don't come into it. I don't care what your job is, or what you wear, or what car you drive, because to be honest, it's not something that attracts me. Interesting people who have opinions and are good at being themselves, that's attractive to me. Wow, that was a speech. I felt that. Aronan's just looking for love. How can you hate on him for that? So I said, so what I'm hearing is, you're rich. <laughs> How did you hear that? You said you have all the superficial things. So you rich or not? I'm not rich. I've never wanted for anything. I come from a good background. How good? Out of 10. Haha, <laughs> dude, this literally has got nothing to do with attraction and getting to know someone. I'm not here for you to scope me out. You're Right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then he left me on red for a couple of hours, so I messaged him again saying, but for real though, you wanna buy me some Balenciagas? And uh, we, we got left on red again. So no Balenciagas this time. I guess there's always next time. Literally, I've got a three month membership for this app. I'm gonna get my use out of it. But honestly though, I think Aronan is a good example of what this app is like. I feel like compared to any other dating app I've ever been on, it's not really people looking for love. Whereas I feel like this, if you're paying $66 a month, you have to be pretty serious about trying to find love and dating and that sort of thing. So in summary, would I use the league again? Yes, purely because I've got a three month membership to it. But is it worth the money? In my opinion, no. I think it's good, don't get me wrong, but I think it's also extremely overpriced. As always guys, if you did enjoy, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Let me know what you thought on Instagram. And as always guys, if you are new, make sure you subscribe to join the George Mason Nation. We're on the road to 500k, so make sure you subscribe. But yeah guys, it's been George Mason TV. If you have enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It's been George Mason over and out. Boom.